Hey, GED students. Um, I've got a little problem here. Um, Kara, a GED student, was struggling with this. So we're going to look at this word problem here and then um, talk about its implications. So it says the area of a rectangle is 8W plus 18 square feet. And maybe that sounds weird to you since that's not quite a number. That's an algebraic expression, 8W plus 18. But don't worry, we'll deal with it. And it says the length of the rectangle is two feet. Well, hallelujah, that's a little easier for us to understand. And then it says something interesting. Use factoring to write an expression to represent the width of the rectangle. Use factoring. So I'm going to just sketch out a little picture before I talk about this any further. So we have a rectangle. We know its length. Uh, you know, we know its length is like um, two feet, so I'll label this as two feet. Um, we don't know its width, and we want to write an expression to represent the width, but we know something super interesting. We know its area. According to this problem, the area of our rectangle is 8w plus 18. And we should know something else about the area of rectangles. We should know the method in which people use to figure out the area of a rectangle. Well, usually when we want to figure out the area of a rectangle, we multiply together the length and the width to get the area. So length times width equals area. And that's exactly why this problem says factor. Uh, notice, I already know the area, so it's like I'd be working this problem backwards. Let me just show you an easier example really quick. Like if I knew the area was eight square feet and I knew that this side was two, I would say two times what equals eight? Two times what equals eight? Well, of course, then that would have to be four. And I'm gonna do the same thing algebraically. I'm basically asking myself two times what equals this long funky area, 8w plus 18. You can notice basically what they're asking us to do is they're acting as, asking us to factor out a two. Factor out a two, now remember, um, when multiplying and dividing, um, you multiply and divide through every term. So basically we're gonna look at what would happen if I took the two, divided the two out of 8w. Well, if I divided the two out of 8w, I'd have 4w. And if I divided the 2 out of plus 18, I'd have plus 9. So what I just learned here is that this side, even though I don't know what W is, is could be represented by the expression 4W plus 9. Now, don't believe me? Well, you can easily check your work. Try multiplying together the two dimensions, 2 times 4W plus 9, and see if you really do get to that area you would expect. Well, 2 times 4W is 8W. And 2, if you add 9 twice, that's the same as adding 18, or 2 times positive 9 is positive 18. So it does check. And so use factoring to write an expression to represent the width of the rectangle. Okay, the width of the rectangle then would be 4w plus 9. Great. Really tricky application problem of both factoring and area. Um, a super good example, though. I liked it. Really got us thinking about this topic. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.